dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no soul. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't neglect me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, what's good, original? Ooh, so who crew is better? No. Who, oh, oh no. Let's... No. No. We gonna stop it. Then. We gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and hit mine with the diaphragm. No, no, no. Let's... Not... <clears throat> <clears throat> he trying to help you out. <laughs> you already, you know you already can, did to us. You, already you know did I can do it better than you. I was actually in pain We're when I did that. Go on the channel with another. Get and see original. That was a little crackly, but <laughs> exactly. I was going somewhere. I'm crackly, in, exactly. I'm in pain. Show you right. Oh, okay, whatever. Welcome, welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome. We, we got 21 <laughs> things in the U.S. that puzzle most foreigners. Now, we know, we know, we know. Y'all love. Y'all welcome to have a seat. Have a seat. You, yes, you, you, you there, darling. Yes, yeah, you there, madam. You too, sir. Have a seat. Welcome. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> we we know. <laughs> we got two two videos that y'all have been madly in love with that y'all been spamming. So thank you, thank you. Here got another one for you, man. We got again twenty one things in the U.S. that puzzle most foreigners. So we want to hear y'all thoughts and opinions. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, before we get into it, make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go, man. If you want to further support, all you got to do is check out down below. Mm -hmm. Also, every single time, we salute to the coming of the day. Salute to you. We highly appreciate it, man. Y'all keep running this up. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, lock it in with a thumbs up, man. We appreciate it. But 21 things. We just want to know if y'all really be puzzled by it. So let's go. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Well, you may have lived in the United States your whole life without realizing that something totally normal for you seems bizarre to people from other parts of the world. Who knew that munching on fried pickles in a highly air-conditioned room was so outlandish? Well, here are some other highly entertaining Americanisms I've gathered. Let's count it down from number 21. Sales tax is a guessing game. When you go shopping in the U.S. and see a price tag that says $14.88, don't expect to pay $14.88 at the register. Sales tax is not included in the price of an item. And since this tax can vary from state to state, figuring out your total can turn into the ultimate mental math challenge. In many European countries, the sales tax is already included in the price. It's known as a value-added tax, or VAT. Number 20. We're total workaholics. A lot of Americans don't feel the need to take long vacations, so they often let vacation and sick hours pile up without ever using them. Plus, most employers only give you two weeks out of the year. But in a lot of other countries, like Brazil or Finland, workers are encouraged to take an average of 30 days of vacay. Wow, maybe I should take some time off. or. Hey, but now, now. We, we, we know that from the previous video. Yeah, we do know, you know that from, 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 from But still, though. You know, days, hearing it again like that, you know. 30 days is a lot, though. I ain't going to count. You give me a 30-day vacay, I'm going to come back and forget what the job is. I ain't going <laughs> to lie to you, bro. Even <laughs> taking a, it be taking even like a, take a week, week or off, something? You, you have to, it takes you about a whole day to get your mojo back, though. <laughs> like, for real. Mm. I'll just keep waiting. 19. It's not a party without red solo cups. In the States, this red plastic cup is synonymous with party on, dude! But other countries apparently don't recognize this cup to mean the same thing. People in the UK, for example, don't use red solo cups at get-togethers. They have to go to a special website to purchase the cups for American-themed parties. Who knew? Number 18. Deep fried everything. Whether it's fried pickles or even fried Oreos, America has it all. 
fried fish recipes first appeared in Spanish and Portuguese cookbooks as far back as the 1200s, and the Greeks were frying food in olive oil way back in the 5th century BCE. But as America does with many things, they've adopted a tradition from far-off lands and took it up a notch, or five. 17. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, now y'all have gone overboard with the fried food. With the fries. Like, people want to fry everything now. Right. And I'm like, everything. You see, they, they fry cereal, fry ice cream, fry stuff that's supposed to be cold, and they be like, you know, you can fry that, right? Yeah, like, I did see the ice cream thing. I'm like, they, no. Because they, they freeze it, they batter it, and freeze it again. That is and then right. deep fry it. I'm like, that's not right. Even, even cereal. Like, I'm talking about milk and cereal. Hmm? How do you even do that? You gotta eat. And I'm going to tell you what else made frying food to a string, TikTok. Mm. TikTok killed, really killed food game. Well, y'all, I feel like people was frying like strange things but before that. But nah, they can't I guess like to, sh- like to actually people have the visual, like to seeing people, it makes more people want to go do it. I you guess can fry almost anything, bro. I would not want it. Bro, I didn't see somebody fry water before. No lie. I seen fried water before, and when they they busted, water came out, and that's I said, right. "How is that even possible?" No, that's weird. Everything you need right at the pharmacy. If you're not from the U.S., it may be puzzling to walk into a pharmacy and see aisles and aisles of over-the-counter meds, toys, makeup, clothes, and even groceries. Unlike in other countries where pharmacies sell medicine and medical supplies exclusively. The ones in the U.S. are like small convenience stores, where you can grab magazines, Tylenol, and a frozen pizza in one fell swoop. 16. Fill her up! In America, if a restaurant doesn't offer free refills on fountain drinks, it's kind of strange. But in other countries, once you buy one beverage, that's it. France banned refills on sugary sodas back in 2017 in order to combat the current obesity epidemic. But in the U.S., the idea of free refills is still alive and well. 15. If you don't like it, return it! Whether it's an ugly sweater from grandma or a heinous pair of earrings from an ex, if you don't like it, you can just return it. In America, making returns at stores is pretty normal and super easy. I mean, the U.S. even has a National Returns Day in January, conveniently held for you to return holiday gifts you weren't too thrilled about. 14. Tips for everyone Cab drivers, servers, hairdressers, you gotta tip them! Tips are acceptable for almost any service in the U.S. and sometimes consist of 25% of the bill. We haven't started tipping surgeons yet. But there are places in other parts of the world, such as Japan, that consider tipping incredibly rude, like in restaurants. When you travel to different countries, it's important to learn their tipping etiquette so that you don't offend anyone. 13. I said it. Like, that, that video, the comments put me on game of understanding how the tipping system works over in other countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... It's like it's like this. I feel like some people they want. It's like it's it, it really be highly disrespectful the way they come at Americans. Yeah. Because it's the way you you're coming. It's not what you're saying. It's it, how you saying it or how you're like delivering like the message. Most not like most of them they be coming off rude, and I and I'm like, do y'all know y'all being rude about it? Because even with the with the tipping thing. It's not that I'm tipping you. Oh, I feel pity for you. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a like it's a it's a gesture. Yeah. And and a lot of people don't understand how the tipping system works. Every state's tipping system is totally different. Mm-hmm. So don't go off of what you might heard. Go off what of you what you, you know. what yeah. you know. Because a lot of people go off what they hear about the tipping system in America, and it's not necessarily true. Because when I used to work as a server. Mm-hmm. Say for instance, nobody ever tipped me through the whole whole week. Yeah. I never made a single tip. Yeah. My check will reflect me not making tips. So I would still get a minimum wage check, like an average check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would still get a not no I want if I don't get tips, I don't make no money. You, yeah. you make money. But I also learned that California tipping tipping well, service industry. Their pay is totally different than Tennessee's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually get paid regular yeah. wages 
and plus tips. And plus They tips. actually make good living. And, the, and But I guess that goes to also like the region that you're at, yeah. like where you're at and the cost of living. And so you it's, have to it's understand based off the, cost the cost of, of living. living, where you're at. So if you in a, a smaller area where the cost of living is probably like, it's you know, it's a little cheaper than you, to be the honest, pay will be different. You can be in a small town and live better than off of tip money than somebody who works a nine to five job. Right. So a lot of people love to work in the service industry yeah. because they can make more money, money doing that than going to a factory or going to a, Especially uh, people that got like that good hustle. They like yeah. that, you know, that type I, of I work loved ethic. it when I when I yeah. worked there, I loved it because it was they fast like paced. It was all, and I like talking to people, and I like being involved, mm -hmm. and I like, you know what I'm saying, doing stuff. So I ain't had no problem with it. I loved it, and I made a lot of money. I know people that's been like servers for years, years yeah. and that's their only job, and, and they, they live well. well yeah. So, so it, yeah. So the, I right. think that was a big thing. Like yeah. when we had the comments, I was like, they really don't understand. It's like I don't have time to explain. <laughs> yeah, like, like, and, yeah. and I didn't understand that how the tipping system yeah. worked until I started meeting other people. Outside, outside of where I was, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh, so y'all make that much?" Yeah. Plus tips. I was like, "How can we live good?" They was like, "Yeah, we live like." Yeah. So don't think most. Now some people do like struggle. it's necessary to be able to live and thrive. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's no. not. I'll take my coffee to go. With a Starbucks on every corner, it's very normal to see people toting around a coffee as they shop, commute to work and whatever else at all times of the day. But in many parts of the world, coffee is meant to be sipped on while seated and enjoying the paper or chatting with friends. Tugging your coffee along with you throughout the day might be due to the fact that the cups are huge and take longer to drink. Who's got that kind of time to be sitting in a cafe for hours? Sounds like fun to me. I'll, say, I'll speak on this real quick. The reason why most Americans walk because we're we're so trained and equipped to multitask, so we're always on the go. Yeah. So we'll get a cup a coffee and like I'm gonna sip it while I'm going here, mm -hmm. opposed to being able to sit down and enjoy your beverage, because we're always a doubt. Get that and go. Get that and go. Even like when we was kids. But maybe kids, that's something that you know needs to, to be. Even when we was kids, remember you used to get your snack. They'd be like, get your snack and go. <laughs> Get your snack and go. Here, yeah. take this on, on your way while you're going. So as a child, we're being trained to eat and go, yeah. which is unhealthy. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. And maybe that's something that needs to, you know, because yeah. that's why. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Number 12, the land of ice cold drinks. Now, speaking of drinks, if it's not a hot coffee or cocoa, then it's probably got ice in it. Tea, coffee, lemonade, soda, water, Americans like it on the rocks. If you go elsewhere in the world, odds are you'll be sipping your soda at room temperature, or maybe slightly refrigerated, if you don't specifically ask for ice. Number 11. Keeping the AC on at all times. Americans must have an aversion to being hot. In many parts of Europe, people simply don't use air conditioning as much as they do in the States. Here, it's expected to always have the AC blaring, and a lot of visitors find it pretty strange and quite chilly. But come on, it makes sense. If you're cold, you can layer up. If you're hot, all you can do is suffer and complain about it. Number 10. Looking at dollars is a snooze fest. I remember going to Europe for the first time and thinking their banknotes look like Monopoly money. And I guess a lot of countries have bills of different colors and sizes depending on the value, like Swedish krona and Russian rubles. But not in the US. It's all greenbacks, baby. Sure, tens look a little yellowy, fifties are kind of pinkish, and Benjamins seem bluer than the others. But still, US dollars definitely aren't as fun and rainbowy as other currencies. Number 9. Giving a thumbs up. In America, even little kids know a thumbs up means good job, way to go, or anything positive like that. But if you travel to Greece or the Middle East and give this common American gesture, you probably won't make too many friends. Hey, how about giving this video a thumbs up for the useful tip? <laughs> Number 8. The Date Writing Conundrum. So many visitors to the U.S. get really confused by the month-day-year thing, 
because most parts of the world write the day, then the month, then finally the year. There's no clear historical reason why the U.S. insists on writing the day differently, but we just do. Number 7. Pre-baby baby showers Many cultures celebrate a new baby coming into the world, but America is one of the few places that does this before the baby actually gets here. In East Asian countries, for instance, celebrations for a new baby are held once the baby is born, as doing otherwise is seen as bad luck. Number 6. Oh my bad. I was just going to say, and for me, it, it makes more sense if you would have it when the, baby after, with, when the baby comes. Like, that always was a thing. But a lot of people like to go ahead and get the, the gifts as far as, so they can already have, like, clothing, okay, diapers. Okay, but what, what if you thought, what if you, thought you was having a girl and then come out and you're having a boy and you done got But no, nah, like, what I'm saying is a lot of people think they're, like, no, no, I no, need no. to go ahead. So they already want us to be stopped up so when the baby get here. That's cool or whatever. But you don't even know how big that baby going to be? <laughs> that too. But it's cool. Like if you want to get a few things just so that the baby, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course you're going to have to get that. But I'm saying for everybody, for you to come and have this party, you got food, you, you yeah, got yeah. this, you got th whatever the case is. So, so basically, basically you don't want to have no pre-baby shower. You want to have a post-baby shower. And people would think I'm crazy because it's a tradition, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. to have it before the baby comes. Yeah, so, yeah. but yeah. Even like... But even, it just never made sense to me. Even like, like to be honest, even like bridal showers and stuff like mm -hmm. that, like, shouldn't, shouldn't there only be like celebration after the couple gets married opposed to before the couple gets married? Because you should... You should shower them that they finally are married and are not married. about to get married because you showering them about to get married. Anything can happen before. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So certain. I'm just saying, like yeah, certain traditions like kind of traditions don't make sense. Don't make sense don't make in sense. America because but you don't question it because it's like that's it's something that it's something tradition. All, it's always you it's know? a tradition or it's just a habit people have. Put in instilling. It's a mind. tradition for Americans. I don't think it's tradition. I'm just okay, saying well, I don't it's, think it's a tradition. Okay, but well, it's, it's a, a it's the it's the norm for okay. You get what I'm. I get what you're saying. Yeah. But I'm trying to find the right word for whatever word you want to use and whatever word I want to use. We're both on the same page. Right. Okay. <laughs> how are you? Means hello. Sure, people ask each other how they're doing in other countries, but Americans often use this phrase as a replacement for hey or hello. It doesn't even require a real response. People just answer with, fine thanks, even if they're in a horrible mood or had a terrible day. Number 5. Bathroom stalls that aren't so private. Hmm, don't like doing your business in front of complete strangers? Americans don't either, of course, but the fact that bathroom stall doors often reveal as much as your entire lower leg seems to say otherwise. There's no clear reason as to why there's this big gap in public bathroom stalls here. But many guess it's for safety reasons. Or ventilation. <laughs> Just saying. Number 4. No one uses their inside voice. A lot of my friends who are visiting or moved to the U.S. tell me that locals speak so loud compared to other countries. Whether it's talking on your cell phone or chatting with a friend over lunch, Americans seem to really like projecting their voice. I don't know. Maybe we just want to make sure we're heard. Number 3. It's all about choices. Walk into any grocery store aisle and you'll notice at least 10 different options for cookies, crackers, or cereal. People in the UK don't have these many options for food, and you'll almost never find anything in grape flavor there. Number 2. Hopping into the back seat of a cab. When getting into a cab, it's customary in the States to scoot on into the back seat. But in countries like New Zealand and Australia, riding anywhere but shotgun can be a little rude. Number one. I ain't gonna lie, before we get to number one, even when I used to work uh, work at Enterprise, mm -hmm. and we used to pick people up and, and yeah. uh, drop people off, Yeah. I used to find it, personally, I found it rude for people riding in the back. Yeah. I'm like, bro... Like, you just, you're renting a car from us. Right. Get in the front seat. Right. It's not like I'm chauffeuring you somewhere. <laughs> like, you're paying for it. Like, I just felt it because it's one guy, he used to do it all the time, and he used to act like he was his Uber driver. Mm -hmm. And I used to be like, bro, that's the rudest. Like, I just felt, because I'm, I'm like, I'm not a driver, like bro. Yeah. I'm like, I'm an employee. Like, even though we got to drop you out because you're using our vehicle, mm -hmm. but I'm not like your 
I'm not chauffeuring you around. Yeah. Because some people used to be like, uh, am I put? I'm like, you can, you can hop in. We gonna have a conversation. Listen to some right. music, bro. Like, you got something you want to listen to? We can crank up some tunes. Because some people, I used to be like, hey, if it, if it, like if it's a guy or something, I used to be like, hey, you want to hear the radio in the mud? Like, I'll I'll be like, hey, I ain't gonna listen to no rap music, but I'm gonna listen to something that got. So I listen to, like pop music and stuff, but I'll be like, it sounds is good. And be like, they be like. Yeah, sound good. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying, yeah. I, and that's what you used to be like part of my selling point. Like, right. like hey, you should look into the car. This sounds, it sounds just not. Or I get a car, be like, yo, this, this ass, bro. You don't <laughs> want this, you for real? Like, but I be wanting you to be right here because I ain't talking to you. And you behind, behind me behind, right. because now you make me feel like a cab driver. Too. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I do. I, yeah. I understand. I do feel like it is rude. But it's because of the habits that we have. If it's a there. larger party, then of course. Yeah, if it's but, like multiple people, but sometimes they would still one would still sit in the front. No, that's what I'm saying. If it's a, like if it's yeah. like three of you, three of y'all, then of course. Or sometimes if it's more than y'all, y'all want to get in the back. We in an SUV, albeit right. I don't care y'all because be it's together. more than one. Um, but yeah. traditionally, just somebody hop and sit beside Please. me because I ain't trying to get no <laughs> That classic American smile. In the U.S., people aren't afraid to be nice and show their pearly whites all the time. And according to a 2015 study at Brown University, because America has always been a very diverse country, it forced people to smile at each other more since they couldn't always communicate with language. That's just one more historical theory as to why Americans tend to smile more than people in other places do. Or maybe we're just, you know, friendlier. Whether you're from the U.S. or not, can you add any more strange Americanisms to the list? Let me know down in the comments. It makes sense, though, like, it, due to the fact that so many people are from different places. Yeah. The best way to greet somebody was with a smile. With a smile, So it yeah. became tradition to, it, like, it, but you will see it more depending on where you at. Like, but you know what's awkward? People always say... People down south down are south friendly, are more friendly than but then when they north. move here, <laughs> they be like, "Y'all some of the rudest people." They I do know. say that. And I be like, I'm like, we can be friendly or rude depending on how depends. you. Yeah. A lot of people down south are, they respond to how you respond to them. Mm-hmm. Like they, we're down south people are very responsive. So how you are towards me is we gonna give you that same, same energy, energy back. Yeah. So. If you we feel as though you rude, we're gonna be rude back. Like we just gonna give you the same it's yeah, tit for tat. But majority of the time when you when somebody comes, they knew we want to make you feel as, as home as possible. Yeah, because that's how we always have been taught. I said taught. Taught as a child to yeah. make make the guests feel welcome. Welcome. Mm-hmm. So there you that's go. It. <laughs> this video was way longer than I thought it was gonna be, but hey, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Hopefully some of y'all Got different opinions. Some of y'all still got the same opinions. Just let us know in the comment section. Nicely, please. <laughs> but, uh... as a, but as always, man, <laughs> y'all know how it go. I can go with the name. Sierra Nicole. Sierra Nicole. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack to flip for my folks. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partner.